Good evening. Welcome to VC3 News and Sports for Friday, September 6, 2024. I am Shadeen McLean. Arrowroot farmers yesterday received vouchers to assist with acquiring essential agricultural supplies and resources. The distribution of the vouchers was an initiative of the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestries, Fisheries, Rural Transformation, Industry and Labour and was held at the Arrowroot facility in Orange Hill. President of the Arrowroot industry in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Selman Walters, expressed high hopes as it relates to the future of Arrowroot production, especially as the factory's construction progresses. Deputy Prime Minister and Area Representative Honorable Montgomery Daniel urged farmers to take full advantage of the resources provided to them and encouraged them to boost Arrowroot production. His cabinet colleague, Agriculture Minister Sabota Caesar, expressed his gratitude to Minister Daniel for his steadfast support in advancing the Arrowroot industry. Minister Caesar, in offering encouraging words to the farmers during these challenging times, advised them to plant Arrowroot while simultaneously cultivating short-term crops between harvests. The vouchers are redeemable at the Agricultural Input Warehouse in Kingstown. More on the local scene certificate in agriculture to be offered to the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Community College SVGCC this academic year. In preparation for this certificate in agriculture program, the SVGCC will host an information session at the Division of Technical and Vocational Education, DTVE, on Monday the 9th of September, beginning at 1.30 in the afternoon. The session is to give prospective students important details about the program which is being offered during the 2024-2025 academic cycle, as well as provide an opportunity for those wishing to apply for the program to do so. It will be held at the division's location at Annasvale. The opposition New Democratic Party has announced that Conroy Huggins has been selected as its candidate for the central Leeward constituency in the upcoming general elections constitutionally due in 2025. In a release sent to the media, the NDP says the selection took place at the Sir James Mitchell Auditorium and was contested by Mr. Huggins and Rachel Caesar, a long-serving teacher from Barrelly. Speaking after his election, Conroy Huggins expressed his gratitude to the constituency division for their show of confidence in him. He further indicated that the constituency of Central Leeward is in desperate need of proper representation and he is committed to going above and beyond for the people. NDP President Mr. Godwin Friday praised all those who took part in the selection process and thanked both Ms. Caesar and Mr. Huggins for their commitment to NDP party and their community. Conroy Huggins is a respected educator who is widely recognized for his community activism and contributions to the agricultural sector, both locally and internationally. More on the local news scene when we return after the break. Stay with us. Now available from all lotto agents, Goldmine, a new $2 Instacash game with a top prize of $3,000. Gold mine, so easy to play. If your numbers equals the bars of gold numbers in the same group, win the prize shown. You can win up to three times. Get your gold mine Insta Cash tickets where there's no waiting for a draw, and you can win on the spot. Gold mine, another easy to win Insta Cash game from the National no Office Authority. Authority. Welcome back. Two officers of the Royal St. Vincent's and the Grenadines Police Force, RSVGPF, have recently completed an all arms and drill course, AADC 2401, hosted by the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Military Academy. The officers, Sergeant 172 Atonal Ash and Sergeant 652 Omaru Thomas, have been officially congratulated by the local force. 
A release from the RSVGPF says the Commissioner of Police and the entire rank and file of the RSVGPF extends heartfelt congratulations to Sergeants Ash and Thomas on this outstanding achievement, noting that their diligence and fortitude have not only brought pride to our noble constabulary, but have also set an exemplary standard for other officers to follow. The All Arms Drill Course is a specialized training initiative designed to qualify members of national security organizations to execute and teach drill with precision. It also equips participants with the skills to plan and advise on ceremonial procedures and protocols for parades. 17 participants from a variety of security agencies, including the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force, Police Service, Fire Service, Prison Service, Cadet Force and Scout Association, along with the representatives from the RSVGPF, attended the course which ran from June 3rd to August 23rd and was held at the Territon Barracks, Chagaramas, Trinidad and Tobago. More on the local scene, mathematics was amongst the subjects with the lowest percentage rates in this year's CSEC and CAPE results. Earlier this week, in statistics released by the Ministry of Education, it was noted that mathematics received a pass rate of 31.60%, Spanish 46.31%, while textiles, clothing and fashion 51.79% and geography 52.58% respectively. On the other hand, the subjects with the highest percentage passes were theatre arts with 100%, physical education and sport 97.47%, office administration 95.81% and industrial technology 93.75%. There was a good showing by technical and vocational education and training TVET subjects with the highest percentage pass rate in the areas of industrial technology, 93.75%, family and resource management, 89.39%, and food, nutrition and health, 82.73%. However, the subjects with the lowest percentage pass rates were technical drawing 74.15% and textiles, clothing and fashion 51.79%. The largest entries were in English A with 1,298 persons, Mathematics 1,234, Social Studies 762 and Electronic Document Preparation and Management 654. There was a slight fall off this year of the passes at grade level, which was 17.20%, while in 2023 the figure was 17.57%. However, there was an increase in the number receiving grade 2 level passes. 2024 shows 40.67%, while in 2023 it was 38.48%. But there was a dip again at the grade 3 level this year with 42.13% recorded as compared to 43.95% in 2023. This year, 1,477 school candidates from 27 secondary schools sat papers 1 and 2 with 10,120 subject entries in 31 subject areas. That's the VC3 News. Stay tuned for the VC3 Local Sports when we return. Stay with us. Your life. Your vibe. Your cola. So represent. Your life. Your vibe. Representing the best cola. Me and the Moses Cola. Right. Right. From me. Open the cola, me a look, me a look for the best cola Look to the left, me see the zest cola Look, look to the right, me see the zest cola Zest, zest cola are the best, best cola Represent for the zest cola Zest cola are the best cola Zest, your life, your vibe, your cola Zest, represent with the best cola available island-wide At your favorite bars, restaurants, corner stores, and supermarkets Zest, your cola your vibe. Welcome to VC3 Sports for Friday, September 6, 2024. 
Two teams will leave to compete in two significant regional netball competitions on behalf of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The main national team, the Vinci Warriors, will participate in the America's Netball Men's Championship, which will take place from September 12 to 18, 2024. And the senior Vinci Drills will play in the fourth ECCB International Netball Series, which will take place from September 22 to 29, 2024. After nearly a year of preparations, both teams are prepared to contend fiercely in these competitions. Quoting, I am very pleased with both squads that will be representing the nation. I am confident that teams will play well and represent SVG in both competitions, end quote, said President Natasha Batiste. Vinci Warriors squad consists of 12 members, including Captain McNeil Duncan, Vice Captain Akil Matthews, along with coach Anila Jagger and others. Senior Vinci Jewels consists of 12 members, including Captain Kimisha Antoine, Vice Captain Shania Pompey, along with coach Natasha Batiste and others. More on the local scene in football in their group, a matchup with Bonaire. In Bonaire on Friday night, St. Vincent and the Grenadines' Vinci Heat emerged with a point from the CONCACAF's Nations League. In the 36th minute, Quincy Hove headed the team into the lead. However, in the 39th minute, Stephen Pear took advantage of a mistake made by Bonaire's defense to tie the score. The Vincentians' second encounter is against Montserrat on Sunday at 4 p.m., also in Bonaire. Montserrat was defeated 4-1 by El Salvador before last night's match between the Vinci Heat and Bonaire. And that's the end of our VC3 News and Sports. Join us on our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok, as well as the VC3 channel 114 for more updates. See you next time. I am Shireen McLean.